The greenhouses are finished. Look at this thing. This is a very nice model. Let's to the man. Welcome back to Heads on the Ward Apart. I'm gonna to the man. Today, I hope that finally we're gonna get ourselves the prosperity uh, tech tree unlocked. I am very close. Actually, if we forget about that, I've actually got the technically speaking unlock it. What I need to do is we need to finish the mission. Go pick this scenario successfully to be able to unlock the content for prosperity. Yeah. So, the main objective, which I think we should be already uh, have like done, back to back, hard liquor produced. Okay, we can do that thing. I just need to build myself a pub, build myself, get myself some nice juicy alcohol and I'll be done. That's actually all we need to do. This is, this is not supposed to be that hard, right? Uh, okay, but I can actually build myself a pub. Let's build you next to the, uh, next to the lake. Maybe something, somebody is actually gonna drown over there or something. Huh, okay, it's gonna be a bit harder than I have expected. Okay, maybe don't build it next to the lake. M build it next to the graveyard. No, I also won't fit. Shit. <laughs> oh, so many options. None of them I can... Okay, uh, try to build it here. Yeah, that should be doable. Get this thing done. And get this thing done today. I need to get logistics, road, connect this thing to the, to the network. Okay. You're gonna have electricity. I got all the resources necessary to build this shit. So get this thing done, get alcohol done, and well, finally, I think we'll be able to see prosperity. Uh, also, can I actually do some other research around here? Batteries, motivation, technology and defense, pipe system, siren tower, reduces morale. I just prefer to kill them. Immunity, no, that's not gonna be good. Uh, radio mass, resources. I don't think it's gonna be anything cute. I can get, try to get the kitchen though. Yes, sure, let's get the kitchen. I mean, we had to get like some, have some food eventually, so why not get myself the kitchen, right? We're gonna have food. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have alcohol from the, from the pub, so why not have ourselves something to, you know, get our teeth on? Right, workers. Get workers over here. Yeah, we got 50, like, 7 people around here doing nothing. Get more builders around here, so they're gonna keep up with the, all of the repairs. Okay. Right. I don't have... I don't think I have problems with water, so that's okay. I got problems with tools, though, so I've ordered the construction of another, like, workshop over here. Okay. That should be enough. Change to metal tools. I want to have advanced tools over here. I don't need crap around the settlement, right? Okay, good. We just have to wait now. Uh, where's the pup? The pup is not working. Why not working? The storage capacity is lo going low. Do I look like somebody who gives a damn shit about that thing, huh? Huh? But yeah, probably I need to have some more storage. Right, so as soon as this research will be done... We have to focus on getting the bigger warehouses. Because boy, boy. Wait. I wonder can I get alcohol from this guy? Let's see how that is gonna go. Give you medicines. Give you this thing. There you go. Okay. I think it's gonna work, right? If I'm gonna buy alcohol from that guy. That's what I've been doing for the past, like, two episodes, I guess. Also, I have to send the expedition on some advanced mission. Let's see. Open expedition windows. Where we can actually send you guys? Uh, diner, clothing store, nuclear power plant, corner shop, doctor's office. But yeah, okay. Let's send somebody over here. Uh, send the guys that are working in the in the towers because we don't. I'm not expecting any attack very soon. Any anyway. We don't have any explorers around here? Sis, you know explorers? What the fuck? I had so many people with badges around here and now you're telling me that we don't have any badges? What the fuck game? Okay, good. I delivered them the sulfur, I mean to the trader. Now we just have to get them some medicine and... Come on, give me the beer. Give me the beer. Give me the beer. Give me the beer. That didn't count? Shit. I don't think that counted for anything. Well, that's just awesome. I bet you need those. Oh, you need hard liquor. 
Oh yeah, it's even written over here. You need hard one. Ah, crap. Okay, game. You want hard? I'm gonna give you hard. I'm gonna make you super hard. Just give me another trader, please. I mean, eventually, I think like two or three of traders at least have the hard liquor, so I will be fine. Oh wait, just need ten more. Come on, come on, come on! Put your asses into this. I need alcohol to survive in the apocalypse. With open arms. Now there's finally different kinds of meals and a shot of hard liquor to boot. Don't need a thing more to have a nice evening. But the people aren't exactly fond of each other yet. Okay, task completed. Got it. The researchers go on about how important their project is to prevent a famine. But they've sure taken a liking to the new variety in the food. They think we ought to grow more plants. For research purposes, of course. The scouts are dead set on having a real kitchen. You think we can get that done? Yeah, no problemo. Hey boss, after the hardship of reconstruction, citizens want you to provide them with a town hall. We can voice our concerns and discuss them there. Yeah, sure, I, I can already see how you're fucking discussing anything around there. It'll be a great step for all of us in the direction of a new flourishing civilization. To do this, upgrade the town center to a town hall. I think I already did. Yeah, it's a town center. Oh, there's another upgrade over here. I... I didn't know you actually have something like that. Electricity is self-supported. Really? Okay. Trade it over here. Yeah. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Okay, we need to have a kitchen and need to produce two. I already got the blueprint for that thing uh, from one of the... Uh, from all of the expeditions, like from the previous episode. So that's great. I can get just get this thing upgraded on the fly. Ha! What I can say? I'm a born leader of the apocalypse, you know? You want to have booze, food, weaponry in the apocalypse? Vote for me! I'll bring devastation upon you if I have to. What? Oh, okay, expedition. And now, like that scout said, a dilapidated storage depot. At least we should be able to get a little scrap out of this place. But who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky today. Yeah, with me, I'm like a, I'm a, like a walking charm of luck. Storage deposit, take a look around. So there's an old shopping container the scout mentioned. Look it up, but it should be any problem since we brought along some tools. Okay, shopping container. Open sesame! Easy as pie when you bring along the right tools. Can't tell you how much I've come to love my trusty crowbar chief. The container is filled with crates full of authentic folk costumes. At least that's what's written on the able. From the look of them, the stuff was probably produced on the other side of the planet and then shipped here to be sold for a song. Great, great. Junk. Well, let's see. Some old crates made out of metal, some wooden pallets, and a few pieces of plastic. Some junk. All in all, it's not much, but at least we won't leave this place com uh, empty handed. I think that's all. Yeah, okay, that wasn't super exciting of our expedition. Take it all back. Okay, loot in return. Safe trip home, boys. Right, kitchen. Do I have the blueprint for the kitchen yet? Because at this point I honestly don't remember. This thing terrifies me. Material factory. Makes glass and strength red metal. Okay, fine. Hunting. I mean, housing. Uh, where is the... Where is the... In the food section? Ah, we got the kitchen already. Okay, good. I'm gonna build the kitchen, I guess, here. Somewhere, maybe. Okay, here. Like next to the next to the other mine. Uh, build it here. Oh, a trader has arrived. Hello. Hi. Protective gear, tools. We got the rest of the crap. Give you some coal. Give you some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly don't give a two shit. Just give me the resources and fuck off from the landing spot, woman. I need all the traders to be here. Have you got the kitchen, boys? The kitchen is built. Get me five cooks over here. Stew. Or a uh, hearty meal. Production output. Okay, get this thing. So it's meat and water. Sure, we should have lots of meat. The game actually doesn't say how much meat I have, but... It should be okay. Uh, we got zucchini. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Screw you. And another sickness. How the hell he constantly managed to get sick? 
I mean, I'm starting to think that you are a big fan of penetrating your asses without actual proper protection, even though you have fucking hazmat suits. What the fuck, man? The town hall is now open to all the settlers. It marks the start of a time of prosperity and self determination. Starting now, the residents of the settlement are going to s state their demands. You think you have a saying in your demands? Think again. It's natural that not every consent can be taken care of, but not that you make the right decision and maybe you can learn something from our ideas, chief. Uh, no, you guys do your fucking work, I'll do the leading, okay? How about that? Oh my god! Wow! Okay, I take it back, that, that building was completely worth it. So this is the... This is the town hall. This is the new building. Demand. Time to build one of your settlers' demands. View demand. Choose one of your settlers' demands you want to fulfill. Soap and the fuck is this? Materials materials science. Metal factory researched. Okay, accept demand. We're simply missing the right materials to truly innovate technology, Chief. The expert says we need to have to develop a new production facility to get them. Although some researchers will be necessary, afterwards we will be able to build a material factory like that. Uh, yeah, sure, I bet. Uh huh. Three times over. You again? Old Asorosen is not fucking welcome here. If I'm gonna see you again, I swear to God, I'm gonna load the cannon. My demand seems to be fulfilled. I don't fucking think so, but you have to admit this new town center looks very nice. Holy shit, man. So this is the prosperity building. I wonder if there are any new options around here. No, I don't think so. What? A new trader has arrived. Oh, concrete. Well, we should look at that. They are giving me the items. I normally... Can you shut up? So this guy is selling me concrete. An item that I will only unlock after I get the factory. And uh, he's actually trying to buy cement from me. Okay. Right, I don't need that many hard liquid, I guess. Uh, okay, don't get the, that many tools either. Okay, there you go. I should be fine. Yeah! You're always surprised on that, right? It's like every single fucking time I'm showing you my dick and you're like, ah, it's so big. It's like, yeah, I know. So unload and fuck off. Any order allowed. Oh my God, the prosperity has actually been unlocked. I can, I can have soap. I can have beer. I can have joints. I can have coffee. I can have cake. I can have cement mining. I can have sand mining. I can get a concrete factory. I can get upgraded pop factory unit. What else we have? We have a greenhouse, aqua farm, upgraded water tower, comfortable house, durable buildings, pumping stations, large interrogation, and comfortable shelter. Okay, get the material, uh, material factory for now. Wow, this is great! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to prosperity. This looks awesome. Actually, right now, I'm, I'm really regretting that I have surrounded this thing with, uh, with a junkyard of a buildings. Because this thing looks futuristic as fuck! Wow! Look at this kitchen! One of the better buildings like in the entire settlement right now. Wow! You guys are enjoying this thing, aren't ya? Uh, okay, let's give you like some proper roads. There we go. Pivot roads. Uh, okay. Upgrade roads. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade like all of the roads around my 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 base. And praying for a kitchen for ages. There's even a small selection here to choose from, with a real menu. I'm telling you, a hot meal does wonders. It simply puts people in a better mood. The scouts have even found one more utensil. Great, understood. Very good. When you really got in the that material factory up and running. Then we'll have completely new possibilities for our fingertips. The scientist. She proposed building a few greenhouses for research. That would be a really fine step for everybody. Just picture it. She had a few coffee beans with her that could be planted. Man, oh man, chief. Coffee and cake. Now there's a good reason to put in some overtime. You got me at coffee. Even uh, even if everything is not perfect, the people really do appreciate your dedication, Chief. At any rate, we are on the right track. 
Okay, we need to find more seeds. We need to build three greenhouses. I have to get them with electricity. That's not a problem. And I have to cultivate coffee inside. Right, food. I have to research this thing first. 500 electricity? Uh, sure. I need more wind turbines. So the thing is that if I want to get the greenhouses, we need to find more uh, science utilities. I need to have five. Okay, get the expedition up and running. Let's see, where I could potentially try to find some more... Uh, some more utilities. Hmm. Probably at the... Uh, probably at the atomic power plant. Nuclear power plant. Yeah. This place. Okay, radiation suits. And we got some people that have the right badge. So send the guys that are not doing anything at the moment. Uh, actually, no, don't. Don't send the uh, guards because we are about to get attacked by some fucking raiders again. Can I develop a nuke of my own and basically nuke the fucking bastards? Developers, please give me the option. Let me have some. What the heck is this? Resources are not available. Do I look like somebody who fucking cares? There you go. Have fun. Okay, so. Uh, the raiders are attacking from that destination. Over here. This direction. So, where is where they could potentially try to attack? They could go here, or they could go here. Fuck, both of those spaces suck. Defenses. Uh, I mean, the AI is stupid as fuck, but they're gonna probably come from this side. I cannot have two of them secure the same. No, I can have two of them. I have some. Okay, hold a second. Uh, build this thing here. And remove this thing. Okay, there you go. So now those two points are gonna get more, uh, more militia. So if something is gonna come around the corner, well, then guess what? Welcome to the fucking water, bitches. This is my rifle. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm really gonna do. And where was I? Oh yeah, I have to get myself some more wind turbines because, <laughs> you know, the building is from prosperity. Fuck. Oh my god, how many people got injured? 300 people got injured because of some loot to fire? How? Uh, uh, were you all try to take out the fire with your bodies or what? With your hands? Christ. Hey, look, my guys have another man. Really? Okay, what you want? Uh, you want cake? Cake research, cake produced. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? You want me to develop cake? I'm gonna de develop you some fucking cake. There you go, what you need? Okay, you just need food and water. Yes, 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 I know, luxury and stuff like that. The thing is that, for some unknown reason to me, my guys are not repairing the buildings. Do I need more builders actually, or what? Here, have 50 builders. Can you please start to repair the structures? Because this is starting to be really fucking sad. We are going into prosperity, yet for some unknown reason to me, we still have destroyed buildings. Like, that was fucking, I don't know, three sandstorms away. Uh, and this is the new factory building. Okay, so what do we do over here? We got make glass, and we do... Metal. This is a very nice building, by the way. Holy shit, developers! This... This is actually very nice! Oh, you still around here? My god. Wow, would you look at that? Another fucking delusional trader that thinks he can go for my defenses. Fine. Don't relinquish the least bit of what's yours. Then it's time for us to come to you. Yeah, sure. Come on over. I got rifles with your names on it, bastards. Oh, fuck, Sandstorm. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, what a terrible timing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope that they've managed to repair everything, and they didn't repair everything. Right. I wonder how many buildings went to shit because of your stupidity. God damn it, man. Is it like a... Can I, like, probably, probably, like, some of my fucking, uh, wind turbines went to shit? I think. No? One of them? Okay, I'm looking for some actual ruins, you know. I don't see any ruins. Huh. 
Oh, we got three three thousand electricity. What? Okay, that's nice. Ah, the raider started attacking actually this side. Okay, so this place is like fully equipped with rifles and men and everything. Start to shoot, militia. Start to shoot. Yeah. Okay. My tower. My turn. Yeah. Look at this thing. They didn't even manage to get to my walls and they already like have damaged. Keep firing boys, keep firing! Okay, next time I need to remember to put like more barricades and stuff. Okay, great, we've managed to destroy a barricade. Keep firing guys, keep firing! Also, not to self, I should have probably uh, built some proper like watchtowers within this settlement as well. Like I've built one over here. Yeah, what the heck is this? Damage building. Okay, whatever. Keep firing, keep firing. They're still within range. Keep firing. I don't see firing. I want more fires. Yo, shoot! Hello? Are you guys forgetting about something? Like, I don't know, shooting the enemy? Huh. Apparently my guys run out of bullets or something because they're not shooting. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, okay, relocate this thing somewhere over here. I hope that thing is gonna help somehow. Uh, there was a thingy over here. Okay, destroy this. Guys! The bandits got through! <laughs> Hello! So the fuckers went inside, they're trying to destroy the buildings, but there's another tower over here. Again! Over and over again! And that's a promise! Yeah, sure, have fun, I guess. Okay, destroy this thing. This is no longer needed. View losses. Nine people have been killed, two buildings have been destroyed, 39 buildings have been damaged. Repair costs, ah, I can live with that thing. They've looted this thing. Yeah, well, I don't think they've actually managed to escape. Go away. We did the attack as chief, we were able to get up some gear and they had with them. Okay, gas masks, some tools, food, water and metal tools. Okay. That's very nice of them, thank you so much. It's gonna come in handy. <laughs> so my forum has something that, uh, related to a plant. Okay. Chief, one of our people just found something in the undergrowth. It's a little coffee plant. Hard to believe it is climate. It looks pretty much the worst for weather too. We've had to plant it and pair up uh, with a lot of fertilizer. Maybe this way we'll be able to cultivate coffee soon. Yes. Uh, what you want? You want coffee, uh, coal or you want water? Uh, give you coal, I guess. There you go. We got lots of coal. Yay, I got seeds! Does this thing count towards this thing? I don't think so. Uh, green dreams. What do you want? We found some hemp seeds in a small old case. A little soul got gotten them to grow. But for cultivation, we probably need several kinds of special tools. Uh, sure? I'll give you this. 200 seeds. I mean, uh, metals, tools. Okay, I got another seed. Yeah, we got eight seeds now. Awesome. So I no longer have to go around and look for seeds. We got all the necessary seeds I need. I just need to get some utilities to actually research the fucking ass greenhouse. The expedition. The expedition is being prepared. Yeah, they they are taking this with us fucking time, that's for sure. In the meantime, let's actually get ourselves some concrete production. So uh we need a mine for look for cement. So I build a mine over here and look, some mine actually needs to be built in water. Would you look at that? Uh, but I can actually build this shit. Here? Ah, oh, crap, really? Okay, I want to be able to fit it over there. Where I can actually fit this thing? <laughs> no, no, over here. Okay, perfect. This thing works for me. Uh, community, logistics, let's get you a road. Nice, good road. Okay, anything else? Uh, well, of course, we need to have the, uh, the factory itself, right? The concrete factory, but I don't have it yet. Must be just unlock it for research. Oh, you're still working in that thing, okay. In the meantime, the expedition has arrived. Creeps. It's eerily quiet, except for the clicking of our Geiger counter. At least we're properly equipped. Yeah, that's why I give you the proper equipment, boys. Okay, ah! Turbine building, that's where we need to go. Let's take that apart. Looks like they've used this building to house the turbine. We can try to dismantle it. It's odd to bring some valuable goods. Good thing we brought along some tools and someone who knows about the technical stuff. Otherwise, this would be one 
pointless venture. Turbine. Phew, that's a lot of work. We've managed to dismantle it and still keep all the pieces in good condition. I got one knowledge. Where is my science utility? Game. Go ahead. Seems to be all locked up. There are a couple of roller doors we could try to force open with the tools we brought along. But we could also try to get for the collapsed roof. Just go for the fucking gastrol door. This is enough uh, to force all doors open, I guess. Okay. Add some metal and scrap. Uh, rooftop. Let's see. Okay, nothing in the rooftop. Okay, desks. So let's check out the desks. Right, plastics, metal, and uh, some electrics, electronics. Look at room. What? I want you to go inside. There you go. Okay, protective gear. Uh, they've started a couple of radiation suits and active carbon masks. Okay, good. Don't think we're gonna find anything else useful here. Uh, reactor core. We managed to climb to up to the giant door and get him from there. Now we are standing in the control room with the actual core beneath us. It's someone in a pool of water and judging from the guide counter, it's still emanating radiation like crazy. Control room. A little treasure trove. Yeah, some electronics, always nice to have. We are pulling... Ah, fuck, one of the setters is radiated. But that's okay. I mean, we got like some proper healthcare back at the base. Oh. Memorial! That's nice. Inside the reactor, there was uh, like standing in the heat of a catastrophe. Damn it, we almost didn't make it out of here again. Well, unbelievable that our ancestors built all that. We've got to do something, Chief. We need a place that reminds us, all of us, of this mistake. A delicate object that increases their attractiveness. Yeah, so a memorial to radioactive, radioactive power, I guess. The atomic power. Looter in the turn. Yeah, take all of this crap with me, please. Seriously? I'm leaving some food behind? Fine. Safe trip home, boys. Oh wait, they did found like a utility. Okay, good. Now we have access to the rest of this crap. The concrete factory requires wood, scrap, metal, plastics, and coal for some unknown reason to me, but that's okay. Uh, great, we get another plague. What do you want? The fuck is this? Build for eternity. Durable buildings to search. Uh, I mean, th th that demand system is starting to be really fucking annoying, you know? Right, let's see. Okay, we got greenhouses. Durable buildings. Upgraded water tower. Upgraded water tower collects and stores water. It can be supplied with coal by water carriers to fill the radiation under the water. And the water carrier can automatically fill its reservoirs with water with the pumping stations. The dipping can alternate supplied with water with a wooden jelly, a well or a rainwater collected by utilized uh, resource, uh, resource costs. Huh. Comfortable housing, aqua farm. Oh great, the greenhouse requires concrete, steel and a fucking glass. Nice. And note to self, if you're gonna be doing like the buildings from Prosperity, remember that all of them require electricity. So the sand mine requires electricity to work. Not just to like increase its output, but just to work. Like exactly like it does in let's say, I know, uh, 1800. The advanced buildings require electricity from the start. So right away, they also have better efficiency. Yeah, so it's like that comes in handy when you have to calculate stuff. Same goes for the material factory and same goes of course for the concrete factory. Which requires electricity and you should have it. Also, if you're wondering why one of your factories is not working, is for example, the concrete factory has an input thingy over here in the very back. So even though that the factory is standing next to the power pole, uh, electric power pole, which is connected to the rest of the settlement, it's not working because it's not connected to the input fucking slot. I've got the greenhouse finally developed. Uh, where are you? Okay. Hmm. They're gonna... Ooh, this is a nice building. Okay, I want to really build this thing over here. So I need like three of them. Okay, temporarily move this thing or actually move it like to the side. And one more greenhouse, please. Actually, can I build it like this? I can! Have some! Okay. So, logistics. 
and make like a nice distance road around here. Very nice. So the greenhouses apparently are supposed to give you like great boost to farming for the cost of electricity. I wonder if this is gonna work like in tropical. Like in tropical, those things are not that worth it, you know? I actually prefer simple plantations. Some of the people are gonna be like, oh no, but the efficiency. Yeah, well, if you know how to play your cards right, the plantation in the end will have bigger efficiency than the fucking greenhouse. But hey, what are the I know, right? Oh. Fuck off. Ladies and gentlemen, the greenhouses are finished. Look at this thing. This is a very nice model. Wow. Very, very nice model indeed. Now, this thing requires electricity, obviously. So I decided to improve those houses here to their modern level. Look at this is very nice. Wow. Very nice housing over here. And the best part about this is that they don't require electricity. They don't need to be connected to the grid because they're self-sufficient thanks to the wind turbines they have on the rooftops. So I've saved it like around 50, 100. Uh, more buildings are about to get upgraded. Around 300 electricity. So, that's... No, wait. 300, 400. Almost, almost one greenhouse worth of electricity is over here. And I am working right now on the next research thingy to get the comfortable shelters. And we're gonna improve the shelters. And this thing is gonna look like a very, very rich neighborhood around here in the apocalypse, of course. But now for this rumbling, uh, apparently those things require also water. So, yeah, I've built them like a little jetty over here. So, and a well. So, hopefully they're gonna get like all the water they need. Choose the seed. Coffee. Choose seed. Maximum yield. Huh. Okay. Apparently this thing is super efficient compared to a normal farm. But then again, this thing requires electricity. Which is, well, not always available. Need electricity. Yeah, see? This is what I was talking about. So this thing requires electricity. Let's see. You are not connected somehow? Uh, okay, hold on a second, connect you here, and then the, get this thing over here. So it's gonna get connected to the, uh, to the input thingy. And I have to also, you know what, I'm gonna go with electricity to the tower as well, because why not. Okay. And I have other, oh, how nice. And the power is still not delivered over here. Guys, I need some power here, come on. Also, the stupid demand mechanic is really annoying. Current mode demanding. I honestly don't give a two shits that you demand something from me. You know, I have better things to do to worry about your demands. Can you give me electricity over here? Hey, okay. At the beginning, we had the same stuff to eat. I mean, every single day. And the scouts weren't talking to the researchers. Not one word. That sure didn't help anybody. Now we even have coffee and cake. It wasn't that hard after all. A little bit of consideration and lots of cooperation. Nice! People are dying and I don't know why. What the fuck is going on over here? Uh actually, the whole thing wasn't that hard after all. A little bit of consideration and lots of cooperation were enough. What the fuck is going on over here? Great. What? Scenario completed. Yay! I got three medals. Awesome. Continue playing. The fuck is going on over here? Building strength. I have to. What the fuck is this thing? Foundation of the Beacon Landmark. Yeah, okay, but why the fuck people are dying? What the hell is going on over here? Bury the dead. I am burying the dead? What's your goddamn problem? I have no idea. Okay, landmark. What? Decorations. How do I build the landmark? <laughs> Foundation of the landmark. Oh, the beacon. A red landmark that stands for prosperity and progress. This building goes through several construction phases before it's completed. When the upgrade is ended, it increases the attractiveness of the local, of the location for the entire settlement. Can be built on. Wow, this thing is big. That's what she said. Wow. Okay. Well, too bad I haven't known about this thing because maybe then I will actually prepare a slot for this shit. <laughs> right now I have none. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, I could try to build it over here. Do I want to build it over here, though? I mean, this looks awesome. And it's gonna require lots of materials as well. Wow. 
Okay, maybe that's gonna be the thing, this is the man we're gonna try to build in the next episode. Or maybe I'm gonna actually try to go and uh, set myself another scenario. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know what you think. And if you want to try this out some DLC yourself, link in the description below as always. So it opens up a few interesting options, that's for sure. Uh, it opens up new buildings, new ways of fulfilling the needs of your people, which is very nice, always much appreciated. And apparently, uh, depending on how much water you're gonna give to the greenhouses, the big, bigger yield you're gonna have. So having a dedicated, like, water deliveries to this place is gonna be quite essential. Water storage, stuff like that. Uh, but still, like, I like how this thing goes together so nicely, right? You get to prosperity, then you have yourself... Oh yeah, forget about the land, uh, the thing you have to research. Hold on a second. You know, postpone that thing for like a minute. Oh wait, we're, do we're doing this thing. Okay, never mind, I don't care. So, prosperity comes, you get yourself new buildings, and you get yourself buildings that are self-sufficient when it comes to energy, uh, to electricity. And electricity at this point in the game is quite essential, because like a lot of buildings require electricity, and if you want to actually have bigger output, you need to give them electricity. Which is very nice, settlers. I need to have 600 settlers if I want to get this thing done as well. Wow! That means prosperity with big P starting at the beginning. So prosperity has finally arrived to a little settlement of the man. Look at this thing! Look at it! Can you say that this thing is getting recorded in the apocalypse? Okay, actually you can see the silo over here. And you can see the wind turbines made out of trash. So, okay, but if I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer, you can barely notice that this place... Okay, just ignore the students and husband suits. You can barely notice that this place have been built in the after the apocalypse, right? Look at this shit. It's wonderful. This looks great. Holy shit, man. The developers actually overdid themselves when it comes to this thing. I am extremely happy with the results over here. Okay. Maybe if I could move this thing a little bit in a different place and, you know, like redo this place, make it like more decorative, I guess. But then again, if you think about that, this entire place looks like it looks because you had to build on the fly, right? You have to meet up with the demands of this current situation. You didn't plan ahead to make it look pretty. I did try to make it a little bit pretty, but, well, you get the idea over here. But still, uh, I would say that prosperity is not, necess not necessary for, like, any player of end zone. But if you like it end zone, and if you want more of it, then I do highly recommend Prosperity. It gives you new scenarios, it gives you new buildings, you can actually make your settlement looks kinda futuristic, which is very nice, if you ask me. And, well, as I said, we'll see what the future will bring. Either I'm gonna try to get myself a quick episode and build the monu uh, monument, the beacon thingy, or we're gonna jump to a different scenario. I don't know, let me know what you think. But for now, though, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna let this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.